BS excuses that I preach on a daily basis are all BS excuses I would have invoked. <laughs> and we got it done. Here's the lesson. We finished at two minutes and 12 seconds. And, and I've got, like I said, boom, I got my number. And I won't forget this, my first run ever, my first organized run of any kind. And I got something that I know many of you don't have, <laughs> but I do. Bam, right there. They give you a little medal. And the medal says that you finished the 10-mile turkey trot. And it ain't okay people got this. Just the 10-mile people got this. So for a lot of people, and I, I joke, but for a lot, even says finisher, right on, in case anybody doubts that I did that. Um, but here's a lesson. I'll bring this all around up to telling that story. And this is the lesson for you folks looking for success, trying to reach out there and do a little bit more. You entrepreneur types, you people who hate your job and want to go to another job, you people who want to get up and get out of where you live, a lot of contentious politics in the world today. The country seems to be splitting in half. If you disagree with a red state policy, you're going to have trouble getting that state to kind of uh, go the way that you would like to go. So you're probably going to have to move to a blue state. Obviously, in these times today, more people are moving south than are moving up north. Um, but the reality is that as the, as the country continues to fracture, I think it's, move, it's, 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 it's splitting in half. And people are going to have to move if you would like to be represented in a way that you find reflects who you are. With that said, so many people are scared to do that. So job, just to change a job, are scared to do it. Started a business, scared to do it. There's no faith in themselves is the primary reason why they're scared to do it. That's That faith in themselves or lack of faith in themselves, of course, is masked by all of the reasons why you can't. I can't because my kids are too young. I can't because I don't have enough experience. I can't because my wife doesn't want to go. I can't because I don't want to go. I can't because I got good medical, uh, got good dental. I've got a good paying job. I can't because everybody has, I can't because, and that can't because is just excuse to cover that. I won't because you always can. There's always money. There's always a way to figure out, to do things, um, for the general population people. If you've ever gone on a vacation, if you've gone on vacation in the last two years, there is a good chance you can afford to pick up and move across the country to some, uh, some place that better reflects who you are. And in that move, you will find a job because I guarantee you that you have abilities and capabilities uh, that you don't understand and that you don't see that that I see reflected in people every day. And this race found me in that exact position because, and here's the tough part to admit, had I gone and seen that, seen that, uh, that course that we ran, walked, ran, that we participated in the 10 mile race. That course, had I seen it beforehand and had any sense that it was that many hills, I'd have dropped out. Now, it pains me to say that. It's, it's embarrassing for me to say that to myself out loud. Forget about tell all the rest of you. But I can say honestly, without a shadow of a doubt, had I known that was there, I'd have start talking about my back. I'd have start talking about my heart. I'd have started making excuses about 300 pounds on December, January 1st, and I'm not ready. And who does it that fast? And nobody goes from never running to 10. I'd have had every excuse, but I didn't do it because I didn't have a chance to look at it. Maybe that's God telling me to go out there and take a big old bite and try and get ahead. And he did that by not letting the computer, the, the website work to attach the map. So I didn't have a chance to go get a look at it. But I'm telling you that first hill down with these big sweeping curves down to the bottom, the very first hill right out of the starting gate, I'd have been, uh, I can't do it. I'd have said that I need more training. I need more time. I need more effort. I need more energy. I haven't prepared right. I don't have enough money. The time's not right. Later, I'm, you know, give me another six months. All of these BS excuses that I preach on a daily basis are all BS excuses I would have invoked had I not had I seen that course prior to doing it. Of course, once I get out there, you're on the hills, you're stuck, away you go. I got the timer in my hand telling me how my time is looking, what my average mile is, what my finish time is going to be. I needed to be sub two minutes and 20 sec or two hours and 20 minutes. I finished at two hours and 12 minutes. I had time to spare. We took it a little bit easy. 
uh, there on the last couple of miles because we knew that we could. Never in my life would I imagine I could have got that done. And yet, there I was, finished at two hours and 12 minutes uh, and learned yet another lesson at 53 years old about what I'm capable of and about challenge the importance of challenging yourself and the importance of believing in yourself and the importance really of understanding that we are capable of so much more than we think we are. Hey, my friends, I hope you enjoy what you're hearing. Do us a favor. Go out, like, follow, subscribe, and share the podcast, if you will. Help us out. Leave a comment. Go over to Apple Podcasts. Leave us that five-star rating. Sure help us out, and we'd appreciate it. And as always, thank you very much for listening.